All right, now let me show you how to create this free CV in Google Docs. It has the best format, a simple one column document and a professional look and feel. So let's open Google Documents. And as you can see, you can select one of these pre-made templates, but they don't have the best format. And in my opinion, look a bit crappy. Let's be honest. So let's open a blank document. And first things first, we need to change the default margin settings. So go to file, page setup, and change it to narrow margin settings, which is half an inch on all sides, because we want everything to fit on one page. Okay, next up, we need to enter our name and surname. Okay, and underneath your job title or the one you apply for. And that's important, not only for their information, but also because it makes your CV a bit more ATS friendly. All right, now place the cursor over here, then go to the so-called ruler, left mouse click and add a right tab stop. Now we drag it to 7.5, press the tab key, and then we need to enter some personal information. Okay. And you can add these vertical lines by holding shift and the vertical line symbol on your keyboard. Underneath, we need to add another right tab stop. Drag it accordingly and press the tab key. Okay, now enter your LinkedIn profile, email, and for example, your personal website. Now leave the hyperlinks for now because I first want to style everything. So select all by holding control or command A. Now by default, the line spacings are set on 1.15. You can reduce it to single lines if you need more space on your document. Same goes for decreasing the font size. However, I recommend you not to go below a 9 point font size, because that will reduce the readability of your document. All right, now click the drop down menu, more fonts, and search for Roboto. I also like to justify the text. Okay, let's bold highlight some words by pressing Ctrl or Command B. Okay, increase the font size to let's say 15 and change the color to dark blue. So let's see. Enter the color code. Okay, let's adjust the color of the professional title to this color and font size to nine. Let me remove this hyperlink and add a hyperlink to our personal website. You could also link to, for example, your GitHub profile, Pinterest, or something else that is relevant for the job role. That makes you stand out from the competition. Now, according to research, your chances of getting a job increases when you embed a link to a professional LinkedIn profile. Now, you can check my other video on how to create a LinkedIn profile if you want to know more about that. Besides, you don't have to waste space or attach a profile picture, since you can just click and hover the mouse like this to see a preview. All right, so that's it for the header section. So now it's time to include some other sections. And for this video, I start with the skills section and press enter twice, experience, education, and projects. Highlight skills, go to format, paragraph styles, and click borders and spacings. Now in this window, we add top and bottom borders. A border width of one. Same goes for the paragraph padding. As for the background color, I would like to pick a custom one. So hashtag FA, FA, FA. Okay, and then we click on apply. It's a subtle grayish color. Now place the cursor in the middle, go to the paint format icon over here and click twice so we can copy and paste the same style to the other sections and then we disable it. All right, so the reason why I want to start with the skills section is because I'm going to make a CV for a job in software development. And in this industry, hard skills are very important. And it's actually the first thing that recruiters and hiring managers look for before reading all of the experiences. Besides, it takes just one or two sentences. And at the end, I include this sentence in cursive, all professional proficiency, or above. And I like to bold highlight it because that way the recruiter knows I really possess these skills and that I didn't just stuff this section. By the way, this section is actually inspired by Pirate King's resume that actually got him jobs at major tech companies. Now, I would also like to justify the whole text, but I think I already mentioned that. Okay, next up is the experience section. Enter the company name and the job title with a vertical line in between. Make sure that right tab stop is added and press tab so we can put the city, perhaps also the state and employment date on the right side. I would also like to reduce the font size, make it cursive and change the color to let's pick light gray, except for this little vertical line. And now we bold highlight the company name. 
Okay, so next up, I want to add my work experiences using bullet points. Hold Shift Command 8, and then we add the information. Now, the way you need to structure your work experiences is according to the PAR method, which stands for Problem, Action, and Results. That way, you bring impact and purpose to your work experiences. Same goes for using action verbs at the beginning of each sentence and quantifying the results of your experiences. Now, consider bold highlighting specific keywords or results to bring attention to what's most relevant. The thing is, recruiters spend only a couple of seconds scanning through resumes. So you need to grab and keep their attention right away. All right, so next up is the education section. Enter the university name, degree or study program, and again, the city, state, and date on the right side. Let me fast forward a bit. So as you can see, find the things that are most relevant to mention. So you can think of relevant coursework, extracurricular activities, honors, etc. You can also mention your GPA, if it is higher than 3.5 at least. And maybe also some certificates or courses that you've attended. Now, if you're a recent graduate or still in college and you don't have a lot of relevant working experience, it's perfectly fine to extend the education section. But just keep in mind that if you're still in college, you include present or your anticipated graduation date. Okay, so next up, I want to cover the project section. However, I noticed that it is not possible to place the cursor over here. It's a common problem which you can easily solve by copying the project section, then remove it, place a letter over here and paste it back. There we go. Now, I want to insert a three by one table because I'm going to highlight three different interesting projects. So let's say a crypto price predictor project where we've created a price predictor to help predict Bitcoins and Ethereum's prices using data. Or what about an optical character recognition project? Build a system to process images and identify characters, but also to search and manipulate the data. Or what about a project at uni? Anyway, you get the idea. Now let's do some styling. Okay. Now you can remove the borders by going to table options over here. Open the color window and click on zero. Now let me adjust some minor things to make it look a bit nicer. All right, now before you download this document, you first need to save it accordingly. So name, surname, resume. That way they can easily track your document in their system. And it also proves your attention to detail. Now, you need to download this document as a PDF file. You know why? Well, if you download it as a Word document, let me show you. You can see that the style changes, something we obviously don't want. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I hope this video helped you create this beautiful CV. Make sure to check out my other videos so you can really improve your chances of landing your dream job. Other than that, let me know what kind of job you are applying for in the comment section down below. I'm really curious. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.